Hello Concord homeowners. My name is Adam Baragzai. I am the brokerage manager at AHS Realty Pros and today I'm going to be showing you one of the homes here that we have listed and I'm going to be showing you things that I look for with a buyer and for staying tuned until the end of the video I'm going to share with you guys my five top tips for getting your home sold. These tips are really going to help you get your home sold. So the first thing a buyer does when they pull up to the property when I'm showing homes is they literally judge the book by the cover guys so you want to make sure that you're presenting your home in the best way possible and always try to go ahead and leave at least this light right here on so when they first enter they don't get that weird dark feel and if you know you have a showing in your home go ahead and leave everything on if possible first impressions are everything so Make sure the property is well lit. Now that we've checked out the house, I'm going to go ahead and share my top five tips with you to get your home sold. The number one tip is going to be lighting, guys. Lighting is everything. So when the buyer first walks through your house, what they see is the within the first 30 seconds is really what they leave with. So a lot of times I've walked through listings and they're great homes and the place is completely dark. There's shades, there's blinds. I've seen curtains and towels over windows. These are things that I highly suggest you don't do. Instead, you want to go ahead and try to leave at least the hallway light on and leave the blinds somewhat open. That way, when the buyer first walks through the house, they'll get a better impression right up front. Tip number two is going to be declutter. So when a buyer walks through somebody's house and even if they have a great collection whether it's music video games wine you name it the what they think about is how are they going to use the space right so you want to go ahead and leave this space for them to occupy in their mind because when they walk through the house they're visualizing can they live there do they want to live there and how much do they want to live there so the more that they like to live in your house the better offer that you're going to get so taking those few minutes to go ahead and declutter, put it in the garage, put it in storage, getting a moving pod, whatever it is, get all the excess out of the home. Tip number three is gonna have to do with pricing. So when it comes down to pricing, there's so many different ways of looking at it. You can look at the data, you could go ahead and try to auction your home and get so many buyers through there. I've seen properties with over 50 offers and what they do is they start the biz really low and they work them up and that's something I don't sometimes encourage on a recent real estate trends and then the third way of doing it is to go ahead and look at it as less is more so if your home is worth five hundred thousand dollars on here sometimes putting it up for five hundred thousand dollars sometimes it could go ahead and backfire on you especially if the market is shifting and what you want to go ahead and do is maybe price it a little bit less that way you can get a few more offers from serious buyers and that will give you the option of choosing which offer you want to accept and you might get more than one offer which is going to give you more choices on what kind of buyers you're getting what kind of contingencies they're requesting and it's just going to give you a buffet idea instead of just getting that one buyer for 500000 and God knows if they're going to go ahead and back out during the contract process. So I like to go ahead and recommend that sometimes look at your property as it's in competition with every other house around your neighborhood because it is 
and less sometimes is more. Tip number four, make the home available. So having a lockbox, having a for sale sign, having the house be available seven days a week and with a short notice is definitely going to help you get more showings and the more buyers you get through your homes, the more offers you may get. Tip number five is going to be preparation. So when you're selling your home, it's got to be kind of like releasing a movie. There's going to be different phases, right? So before you list your home, you want to maybe six months or a year before get a professional to walk through the home with you, whether it's an interior designer or a real estate agent. I do this all the time. There's no cost or obligation. Have them walk through the house, give you a couple ideas that you can implement and improve the property without spending a lot of money out of your pocket. And doing this way ahead of time before you're in escrow will greatly increase the chances of your escrow or your home actually selling. So thank you so much for checking out the video. If you guys got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm going to have my contact information below and you can call or text me at 925-471-6907 and there's no cost or obligation if you guys ever want a free home evaluation, you want an RPR report which is really cool if you've never seen one before, text me, I'll get one for your house for you and it shows you relevant information about your home, the neighborhood, it's about 90 pages long so uh, definitely cool and it's free. If you have a few minutes and want some additional information, be sure to check out the articles in the links below. And the best part is they're free. Have a great day. Bye.